Now we have got Ugbo in. What next for Wednesday? Well, it's another up forward. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing, let me know you like the channel. Let's hit that like button so we can get the likes up to about 100 each video. That'd be even great. The more likes we get, the better. Um, also, hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. I will be live tonight. Tonight is the roundup night, so we're going to have a good one of that, talking about everything that's happened this week in Wednesday. Oh, it's been a good one, hasn't it? But here's the thing. Yesterday in the press conference when Uppo was revealed, there was a question before that. And the thing is, we've been trying to get this Uppo deal over the line for such a long time. A lot of people have gone, who next? I've already had people going, who are we getting in next? Is it? Is there any truth in X, Y, and Z? And I get it. I completely understand it. Once you get a player in, you do think of who is the next player to come in after that. And here's the thing. We got in Ugbo. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to start seeing some probably players go out and hit that loan market for loan players. But here's the, see, here's the thing. He got asked about, um, do we need any more strikers? And he said this, at the moment, we have a number of strikers, but we don't know what happens on the market. I think in this case, we need a different profile in this league to have just similar profiles. It's difficult. It could be that we're going to sign more strikers in, in 22 days. You can do a lot of things, but it depends on a little bit on the market and where we are. Now, there have been other managers who've been talking about the market in general, saying how it's an easy market, it's not a bad market to be in. Danny's always said the market's the market. Some deals are easier to do than others, some deals are not. The fact that we got a recognized striker in now, and he's ours and we've not loaned it loaned him is fantastic. But here's the thing for me. If there is a case for it, I can see it more being a lone striker coming in than anything else uh, before anything happens. Uh, and here comes the line of the entire press conference he did. Um, I think it's this bit, yeah. Um, it, this is the line of the entire press conference. Even though Ubbo came in, I thought this was the line that got me. And it, it, oh, kill, it killed me, to be fair, because it was just the way he said it. When I, well, what I can say at the moment is that we are a little bit more sexy than in January. You feel this from the players, they're open-minded for us. This is the good feeling for us. Last January was more difficult to find players to want to come to us, but this is some of you see. This is the result of good work together from last season, from the summer. We are not just talking, we are really doing this. This is good to see. And this is, this is the other thing. In January, it was such a ball ache to try and get anyone in to come and do the project that it, the state the project was in. Because at the end of the day, the project back in January was just stay in the league and then we'll go from there and see where we're at. This is why you've seen a lot of players want to re-sign deals uh, with the club, with Danny staying, Deshaun, Windass, Palmer, Bannon, pa Bob and Bannon, Bannon are kind of the outliers there. They were always going to sign. Uh, but you look at Ugbo coming back. There was, Danny said, people who wanted to be here, who were here last season, wanted to stay. Uh, I think we did the best we could to try and do a pervader deal, but I think getting Ugbo with the more priority of the deals to do. But here's the thing for me. This is the start of the season tonight. The season kicks off tonight, everything to go, and you're like, right, the season kicks off proper. We don't kick off until Sunday. Saturday, there are games galore to watch for your viewing pleasure if you want to. But the season kicks off. We are in, we're out of this whole pre-season, how everything goes. So it'll be good. But I think we are probably three, maybe four players short, two centre midfielders, a defender and a striker, if he wants that. 
kind of thing. Because you got to remember, you loan out Bailey, it does leave you short. And you're probably going to start seeing people come for the likes of Wilkes and Co. Because I I genuinely do believe that Wilkes won't be here at the end of uh, the season, uh, the summer. I think he's going to be gone. I think it's time for him to go and go elsewhere. There's a couple of players on that list that we've all spoke about in the who do we think will go, who will stay. But there's still signs of players who can come in. And if you pick up another loan, maybe a Premier League youngster, hold on a minute. You're not going. Um, if you can pick up a Premier League youngster into the squad who wants a bit of game time and you wanna, they want to see him progress a little bit, maybe it's uh, him coming off the bench to replace an up both for, uh, say, 20, 30 minutes, or maybe to be up top with Ugbo. Who knows? All we know right now is that at the moment, we have got our main target in, and that's great. But the fact that Danny's already gone on to the what next? Who do we go in next? What next? What's the next thing? There was talk about uh, Dembele. Uh, still, that's still gone very quiet. But who knows? That might be something you do. Maybe that's something you bring in as well. But I will be very interested to see where we're at come the end of the transfer window. Um, I have done a preview and a act seen what I thought of the transfer window on Around the Ground channel. Uh, but I will wait until the transfer window shuts on this channel to give it a proper go because it's, it's getting up there. It's getting up there to be a really good uh, window for us in terms of how we get on and what we brought in. So let's see. We have 10 players in and there may be more. But I do think we'll need more out. But Danny hasn't ruled out a striker. Another one. And I think that makes a lot of sense when you look at what we got in the striking department to go. So, is there any lone strikers you could think of who might, where their parent clubs might let them go out on loan in, say, the Premier League, who you would like to see bring in? Um, is there... A, a striker who we could sign on permanent, you would like to say. I know uh, Tariq Campbell looks like he's going to Sheffield United, possibly, so that one's out. Uh, Aaron Connolly still not signed anywhere. Um, but uh, again, a lot of people have said Connolly got a big attitude problem. So it will be interesting to see. that. By the way, that's what people have said. That's not what I'm saying, uh, just to make it very, very clear. So we'll see. But we still want more, one more striker. Apparently, so it's good to see. 